It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by Talking Rocks Cavern. Explore the beauty above and below ground at Talking Rocks Cavern. And the Springfield Green County Park Board, reminding you to go play. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning. Good to be with you again. It is Wednesday, and uh, we're making our way through the week. I think it's going by pretty quickly. I, think. I feel like it's a, a decent clip as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's keep it going. All right. Sounds good. Here's some news for you. Uh, It looks like the Willard mayor may soon be out of a job with the city. The board of aldermen is looking to impeach him. They gave him the papers. Aldermen say that Mayor Sam Snyder has been really lackadaisical in his effort, uh, slow in hiring efforts, among some other concerns. Mercy Hospital now has another new clinic. This went on West Mount Vernon Street, right there by West Bypass. Uh, it's there by the Walmart neighborhood market, if you're familiar with that area. Uh, leaders there expect about 5,000 new patients at that location within their first year of operation. They have 12 exam rooms, outpatient therapy, primary care, and occupational services. All right. Uh, If you drive an electric car, heads up. There's another new place to charge up locally. The uh, Signal Convenience Store just off Highway 65 in Ozark now has charging stations. Uh, Other than this one, drivers uh, have to plot it out and know where they're going if they're driving an electric car. There are not a whole lot of public options. Uh, They're they're adding more all the time, of course. And and we better because uh, the Biden administration wants half half of all car sales to be electric within the next seven years, which. Yeah. It's so interesting because uh, funny. We were just talking about Israel. Ethan and I were um, before we came on and all I know about electric cars and I know so many people who drive them. So this is not like a personal attack, but our guide in Israel who is messianic Jew said, do not Americans get these electric cars. Don't do it. And he had a host of reasons as to why. Um, and here we are Ah, 50% by the next seven years. So 2030, half of all U S cars sold at least will be electric likely, or that's the goal. Yeah. I mean, I've read stuff where the grid can't even handle that. Like if everybody got an electric car, I I don't know. I don't know what's, it's hard to know what's true anymore. Uh, But that seems unrealistic to me, unless the government forces it. Right. Yeah. Uh, All right. This is cool. An NFL affiliated TV star is a personality is coming to speak at college of the Ozarks. NFL commentator, James Brown will be here or be there on October 12th here in the Ozarks. He's the host of the NFL Today and will speak at the Fall Convocation at College of the Ozarks. Super cool. Uh, He is also a minister and speaks at many churches and conferences all across the country. So I didn't realize that, but uh, good to have him in the Ozarks. James Brown. All right. Meanwhile, Drury University is celebrating 150 years. The school planted a new burr oak tree to remember the occasion. Uh, Then the students and staff got to hear from some past university students uh, and standouts, really some former presidents of the university. Current students say the celebration has them excited about their future uh, to have a better understanding and recognition of its very rich past for 150 years. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Speaking of Drury's future, they are starting a new academic department next fall. So 2024 Uh, students will be able to earn a bachelor's degree in both electrical and mechanical engineering. Two good ones, right? Uh, The university already announced a new physician assistant program as well. They announced that a few months ago, uh, which is the first health related master's degree program offered at Drury. Okay, good stuff. Uh, Here's a question. Have you ever hit a deer with your car? If you live in Missouri, and Mm, you probably do. I have not. The the likelihood of that happening is greater in Missouri than in most other states in the union. State Farm just released a study that puts Missouri number 10 when it comes to the likelihood of hitting an animal, not just a deer, but an animal of any sort. Uh, We, but you know, it's the the deer deer chances are higher, or at least that's what the stats show, because you're not going to report if you hit a groundhog. You know what I mean? A deer can mess up your car, though, so that's why State Farm knows about it. Uh, At any rate, we have a 1 in 80 chance of hitting an animal with our cars, 
And yes, deer are the overwhelming majority of those animals hit. Makes sense. I believe it. Uh, if you have a Costco membership, you can now get more than groceries and home items. You can add health checkups to the list. The club is offering online checkups starting at $29, lab panels starting at $72, and mental health checkups for $79. Starting Monday, you can book health care visits directly through your membership card online. Interestingly, you, and you may remember this happening, Amazon, CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart are all doing kind of the same thing, getting into the healthcare world, which if you'd have said that 20 years ago, people would have been, what? Walmart's going to do health? And it's what is wild. Amazon? And Walmart uh, is doing a pilot right now out in a store near Atlanta where they have a vet, like a veterinarian in the store. So you bring your dog there, there's grooming, there's vet care. Um, it's very interesting. interesting. Yeah. There, well, there's obviously money to be made in those areas. So they're going to get in on it. All right. Um, okay. Chat GPT just got worse uh, or better really depending on your perspective on the matter. Um, in my calculation, it got way worse people like overnight, uh, artificial intelligence now has the ability to have a conversation with you, like a back and forth conversation. Uh, the way they're marketing it is interesting. They're like, we can offer your family a bedtime story. We can even settle a family dispute. Like, all these positive sounding things until they hijack your voice because they've learned your voice and then they can come up with their own sentence that sounds exactly like you that yeah. you didn't say. Um, so that, that can happen like already at this point. Um, it's not still to come. It's here. It has arrived. Um, so politics should be very interesting. I mean, whatever you were talking about a while ago, the truth is sometimes hard to find. It's about to get a bajillion times harder because of this chat GPT. Yeah, that's so. basically a deep fake audio. You know, you, you've seen deep fake videos, which are videos that or pictures that look like it's somebody doing something. It's not actually. Uh, but this is the same thing for audio. And that's fr that's frightening because... Man, we be we believe what we see and what our ears hear. So yeah. we're going to have to somehow unlearn that and not trust anything. Uh, it's, right. It's, a, it's interesting it's the uh, that this is coming out because I was in a conversation yesterday with a friend of mine who is running for political office. And I'm like, you know, yeah, it's going to be crazy. I'm sure that there will be wild things, like all these things that I'm saying. I'm like, but... But people, you know, know your heart, you're amazing, whatever. And now I'm like, watch out, run. Don't do it. I mean, not really, because, you know, she's she's in. But it's just like, oh, my goodness. Could it be any worse? So anyway. Well, the answer is um, yes. And the, the way that, and, and this is what's crazy about the uh, the chat GBT is that it's accelerating. It's It gets better so, so quickly. You know, right. it's learning by the second. Whereas it takes us time to learn, it learns quickly. And so I don't, I mean, it just started, it just became a popular thing and now it's already doing this. So, right. you know, and it, 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 it could change every couple of weeks and get better. It's nuts. Yeah. So all the way, I also wanted to add this tidbit, uh, it's on their website, but it says when you're home, snap pictures of your fridge and your pantry and figure out what's for dinner. Like, in other words, it will recognize what you have mm -hmm. already in your fridge or pantry. And then it can calculate, like, what recipe could be made with those mm -hmm. ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's helpful until it destroys, destroys your, your life. life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the difficult part is for public figures. I mean, not like we are to a degree public figures. I don't mean us. I mean, like literal government officials, mayors, or, um, even, you know, gotcha interviews like superintendents or leaders. Um, I just feel like goodness gracious alive, you know, because of the ability to manipulate what someone said or what they meant. And then what about lawsuits? Like then what about, uh, anyway, but you thing. know, it, it affects everybody because everybody has a job that, 
people could sabotage in some way. That's by, true. Yeah. By accusing. Yeah. Regardless you. of what you do, if you. I mean, we all have enemies. So you know, enemy. The things that enemies can do now to make your life miserable uh, just got the list got a lot longer. Right. Um, anyway, so there's that. Sorry, that's kind of bad news. I meant to be positive, but it's hard. Um, all right. Well, this is funny. Uh, Swifties, you've heard of them. I am not one, nor is Ethan, but they are a real thing. Um, because get this, uh, if Taylor Swiss Swift likes the chiefs, apparently so does the rest of the world. Um, at least the Swifty world, because on Sunday, like as of Sunday, when Taylor Swift, of course, was at the chiefs game sitting in the box seats with the, uh, mother of Travis Kelsey since then, Travis Kelsey jerseys, uh, the sales have gone up by 400%. <laughs> That according yeah, and to it's the not, fanatics it's, it website. U- it used to be Kansas City people buying it. Now it's it's not. They're all right. over the place now. Yes. Yeah, that's, if she's a fan, yeah, so am I. You right? know what? I mean, that's the mentality. She uh she's a phenomenon. She really is. And you know what I noticed about her <clears throat> in uh in watching the video, you know, the people took video of her up in the box with with Kelsey's mom and the still pictures that I saw from her in the box with Kelsey is that she is one uh, it seems like 100% of the time performing yeah. she is she always knows the camera is on her so her reactions are dramatic and the shots I knew of you her were gonna laughing say that. And, you, yeah she's always on she's always on because she always she knows she's come to learn that there's always a camera on her uh, so it'd be that'd be a weird way to live i think you can't I mean, I guess maybe with some friends in private, she can be herself, but otherwise it's always, I mean, just look at some of the still pictures, like her reactions are over the top when she's laughing at something, she's like head back and ah, you know, it's, it's just very dramatic, very dramatic, but you got to hand it to her. She's got the, uh, the persona she's created this image and this, this thing around her and it's a billion dollar industry, Taylor Swift. Yeah. It's pretty good for her. It's better than mine. My industry is not worth squat. What's that? What do you mean? Well, she's created an industry. I haven't created any. Babe, babe, people buy pillows that say it's uncanny, Lisa. Pillows. Mm, true. They have pillows on their couch. What uh, do you mean? That's true. Lots of people do have those pillows on their couch and they're wearing t-shirts. So With maybe I am sketch. something. It, listen, <laughs> if <laughs> maybe I am cool after all. Uh, maybe I do have worth. Hey, listen. If you don't know what we're talking about, Mr. Foreheads has two viral videos. It's the highlight of his life. I'm I'm a close number two. I'm a close number two. I mean, what do you say to a man who has two viral videos? Anywho, look it up. Ethan Foreheads viral videos or Ethan Foreheads sketch or Ethan Foreheads bomb in the bathroom. I feel like you good folks of the Ozarks know what I'm talking about. But just in case you don't, do yourself a favor. He would never say that, but I would say it. Um, okay, well, we were talking about the Chiefs, and so that. But was anyway, a well, well, hold on. This, what you you, know, you didn't explain the the pillow thing. Nobody knows what you're talking about. But if they somebody see the has video made of the sketch with where you said it's uncanny, Lisa, and they see the sketch, then I think they'll get the pillow reference. Oh, but P- somebody has made a site that sells pillows with the sketch on it and the words "it's uncanny, Lisa." Somebody is selling those, and, and people. <laughs> People are oh, buying them, and I'm not funny. seeing any of the money, and neither is KY3. I can tell you that. KY3 is not either, man. No, that's a bummer. No, but that's it's a bummer. Fun. Brian it's, would it's appreciate fun. that. It's fun. We're we're yeah. contributing to the common good. Yes, you are. You bring good laughs. Um, okay, so we were talking about the Chiefs a second ago. It was going to be a better segue. Now we're just going to have to go back to the Chiefs. First of all, we want to congratulate Celia from Springfield, oh. who was the winner of the week three ATO Chiefs Guess the Score giveaway. Yeah. Way to go. So, yeah, go Celia from Springfield. She got the total score of both teams, which uh, for that one was Kansas City and the Bears, correct or closest without going over. And for that, she won two tickets and also a signed jersey. I'm going to mess wow. this up. I'm going to mess this up. So, Ethan, correct me. Christian Okoye. Okay. Is that how you say it? I think so. I don't know. Okay, don't good. Know. I'm not a, I'm glad that I'm not a Chiefs way. guy. 
I know, but I mean, I feel like in media, we watch, we watch. I just haven't heard them like pronounce his last name to the point where mm -hmm. I could say it. Okay. But I just had to. So there you go. Well, you um, should have done your homework. <laughs> no, the fans know who I'm talking about. They know who okay, I'm talking about. Great. So she got the two tickets to the game and she won the jersey. So um, if Super you cool. want to be uh, in the running for the next game for tickets, you can do that. So you will be guessing the score, the total score, Chiefs plus New York Jets, which is coming up on October 1st. Uh, so that one's not till October 1st, but you can enter to win right now. Um, two tickets to the Kansas city chiefs game. So anyway, um, yes, wait, so sorry, it's home games. You can guess oh, the Lord. away game scores, <laughs> but the, the tickets are for the home games. So anyway, um, yeah, so it'll be the chiefs versus the Denver Broncos on October 12th that you would be going to see live in person. Anyway, so make sure that you um, go guess the score at aroundtheozarks.com. Um, sponsored by... And you don't have to have knowledge to, to guess a number. I think, I think people think that, oh, I don't know football that well. Well, we don't either, but we're going to guess. And uh, it's, you, know, you guess a number, and, and if you get closest without going over, you get... And there's other people who do that as well. You all get entered in, and then we pick a name, and one of you wins. So that's right. cool. It's so, worth trying. Um, Okay, let me just beat the dead horse real fast because I know you love when I do that. <laughs> it's the Kansas City Chiefs versus the New York Jets game on October 1st. That's the score that you're guessing, the overall score that you're guessing. If you win that, the tickets that you win will get you into the Chiefs-Broncos game on October 12th. Got it? Yeah. I think and anybody, like, he, like he, you said, he can anyone can guess the score. Uh, it's sponsored by 1047 The Cave, which, of course, is the radio home for the games. So that's fun. Um, you also, if you're like, we don't like football, what what about the orchestra? How about the orchestra? Do you like the orchestra? Because you can also go to AroundTheOzarks.com and win tickets to the Springfield Symphony Orchestra. Okay. Wow. There we got go. everybody covered, I think. I feel like we have everybody covered too. Um, I do love <clears throat> ATO. Like they are on it. They are indeed around the Ozarks and we get to be a part of a really cool team. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for entering the contest. And we hope that you will tell your friends and share the contest, share the podcast and um, just see what's happening in our neck of the woods. And thank you to our sponsors. We couldn't do it without them. So thanks, and uh, make sure you get out there and support them. All right, that'll do it for us. We're out of time. We will see you back here tomorrow. Bye. See ya. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. Here's your host, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Wednesday. It is September 27th, and we are going to be talking about a little bit of rain on the radar to start the day, and then those showers clear on out of here pretty quickly. Only the lucky few getting the rainfall early today. That's primarily happening up in our northeastern counties and central Missouri. Uh, the rain's not going to stay on the radar all day. We are talking about skies that will clear as we head through the course of your Wednesday afternoon. I have a whole lot of sunshine taking over. So more sun in store for us today, and it won't limit our temperatures much either. I still have high temps today that will be making their way into the 80s. We're talking mid 80s. Got 85 degrees for the high temperature in Springfield today. We're starting off this morning in the low 60s with a few clouds around. Uh, winds today, they should remain pretty light. A west breeze in the forecast. There's that low end chance for the morning showers. I think clearing by mid morning, we're dry by the lunch hour. Temperatures tonight, I mean, this is going to be kind of a rinse and repeat forecast that you see here. Uh, pretty much the same forecast every single day as we head into this afternoon, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The story here is mid to upper 80s, low temperatures, either side of that 60 degree point. There is sun, there is warmth, and not a whole lot of rainfall. So those of you that had the rain early this morning, probably going to be your last shot for several days. So we are in for an extended period of dry time here. When I look at some of the extended charts, the extended forecast is totally dry. 
More active weather is going to be possible in the forecast as we head closer to the middle of next week. But even then, it is not looking like a super active pattern for us. And that's kind of to be expected. I told you a few weeks ago when I was looking at some of the long range charts and some of the information that comes out of the Climate Prediction Center, which often is a, a more long range forecast, we were seeing this really quiet pattern above average signals for the month of September. And that's what's setting up as we head into the first week of October too. In fact, I was just looking at the new Climate Prediction Center outlook for October, the time period between October 3rd and 9th. Once again, Climate Prediction Center saying we have a much higher chance of being above normal for that afternoon high temperature and low temperature. Uh, and precip chances are looking rather low for the next two weeks. So uh, many of us got a soaking rainfall over the weekend. We are not looking at a soaking rain here, but maybe some more activity by the middle of next week. So highs today, mid 80s in the forecast. I expect we see a little bit of cloud cover early today, and then those skies begin to clear as we head into the afternoon. Nothing but sunshine then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, <laughs> mostly sunny every single day. I mean, it's almost ridiculous. If you have outdoor projects, I said it again yesterday, but it's worth repeating. Uh, outdoor projects are a go. It's not too hot in the afternoons. However, I think maybe by Friday and Saturday, we will be approaching the upper 80s for highs, maybe even close to 90 degrees. So that may be a little bit on the warm side uh, for your comfort. Around the country, other things making some headlines are that unsettled weather pattern that we have up in the Pacific Northwest. Rain showers ongoing for those folks up there today, Washington, Oregon, portions of Idaho, and in Florida, it is soggy. It's also soggy in the Ohio River Valley as a stationary front is draped across the area. They are looking at seeing some additional rain in their rainfall forecast today. Uh, other news across the country, it's the last supermoon of the year. This week, it rises on September 29th. So that's for the end of the week this week. It's the last supermoon, which means it appears larger and brighter as it's a little bit closer in its orbit to Earth. It's also the harvest moon, which is the full moon that happens closest to the fall season. So uh, a nice sight in the skies, and we should get a nice clear view of it with nothing but clear skies in our forecast for the extended forecast. All right, here's a look at that wake up weather quiz question that I left you with yesterday for uh, you history buffs. Abraham Lincoln was a champion in which sport? Do you think it was wrestling? A, B, boxing, C, archery, or D, axe throwing? I am originally from Illinois. I did not know this, uh, but Apparently, it is widely known that Abraham Lincoln was a, a champion wrestler, a legendary wrestling story for Honest Abe. Um, high school and college wrestling did not exist back in the 1800s, but uh, many reports say that Lincoln was a county champion, county wrestling champion at the age of 21. So multi-talented that Abraham Lincoln. Here is your weather brain twister question for tomorrow. I know a lot of folks are thinking about Halloween. It's getting a little bit closer. It's now officially fall. So here's your question. On average, about how much did each American spend on a Halloween costume last year? This is according to bankrate.com. Do you think the average Halloween costume cost an American $55? $65, $75, or $35. You can take your guess. Do that at the Around the Ozarks Facebook page. You can also let us know if you have any good Halloween ideas. I am in the market. I am looking. Um, Alec is two. Anna is almost one. So I need cute baby toddler Halloween costumes because my I know my time is limited. In fact, Alec already has some opinions on what he thinks he wants to be for Halloween, but I was hoping to figure that out myself this year without, um, you know, I want a little cute themed costume. Let me know uh, if you have any good ideas and how much you plan to spend, if you already have your Halloween costume picked out, and uh, if you have a guess at how much money the average American spent last year, Take your guess. Do that over on the Around the Ozarks Facebook page. I will catch you tomorrow morning with the latest forecast. And if you need weather information through the day, you know where to find it. Check out aroundtheozarks.com. Thank you so much for listening.